Hey guys, what's going on? It's Calvin Store Restore Real Estate. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. So today I just wanted to come give you a quick home maintenance tip. If you're getting ready to sell your house, if you're living in your home, you definitely want to make sure that your house is safe and up to code. So today's tip is about smoke detector safety. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually change and install your hardwired smoke detector. You can either use a hardwired one if you have the wires in the house, or you can use a battery sealed lithium 10 year long lasting smoke detector. A lot of times there might be a mix with a carbon monoxide monitor in them also, and you a lot of the installation's the same. What we ended up doing was we bought a contractor pack. This has four smoke detectors in it. You actually get about three or four dollars off each smoke detector when you do it that way. And we decided, hmm, we have about four or five smoke detectors in our house. Let's just go ahead and upgrade them all. First things first, what you're gonna need is your new smoke detector. Your, smoke, your new smoke detector comes with the backing. This is gonna exchange where the mount is up there. Comes with the smoke detector. Oh, uh, brand new. And look, it has a tab. You know it's never been used before. Make sure your tab is intact. Comes with new wiring because you're gonna find a lot of times the old wiring is set up a little bit differently than the new smoke detectors are. You have to swap them out to make sure that they work right. You're gonna need pliers, some type of big pliers or electrical pliers, and make sure you use a screwdriver or a drill. Today, we need a Phillips head on there. First things first, before you start, you wanna make sure you cut the electric to your smoke detector. Me, I'm very obsessive. I cut the electrical to the whole house. I don't want any access to happen, guys. I need my hair to stay intact. So, first things first, let's go ahead and let's pull down the old wires. You can see where they're easily coming down. And I'm gonna take off this old bracket. So there's some two screws in here. I'm just gonna loosen them very gently. Just a little bit. And this other one, just a little bit also. Then you're gonna find it's gonna turn and it's gonna pop right out. So that's easy to do. Take the old one, just toss it away because you're gonna put this nice, new, fresh, shiny one on, okay? So when you go inside the box, you're gonna find that they have some caps on them. You're gonna make sure that first of all, you connect each color wire to the corresponding color. And second of all, you take off these caps in order to get started. So I'm gonna use this plier. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna give it a couple twists, a couple pulls, try to get this thing to come off. Look at that. Mm. There's one right there. I'm gonna save these because I'm gonna use them for later. I wanna make sure I put it back so all my wires are capped off. I'm gonna take this one, pull that off. Let's give it a little couple little twists, guys. Don't don't get discouraged if it's hard on there, it's good. There it goes, this one. And then here, here comes the third one. Here's the yellow one right here. So with this one, as you can tell, my wires are, I have a black wire, great. I have a red wire, great. I have a white wire, great. So I wanna make sure they're all corresponding. Coming off this, I have a white wire, same as this one. I have a black wire, same as this one, but they swapped their red for yellow. So in case you're putting one back on and it doesn't have that red wire, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be that yellow wire. But if you have any questions, make sure you hire a professional electrician. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this last cap off right here. Just give it a couple of twists. Loosen it up, give it a good pull, comes right off. Great. So now I'm gonna disconnect all the old cords. See, that's pretty easy, just came right off. See how they're twisted? I'm just gonna go ahead and pop them back on. Just take 30 seconds, we'll be good to go. Here, here are the new ones, guys. So, remember what I told you before, we're gonna do black to black, we'll do white to white, and we'll do red to red. Let's go ahead and line them up. Try to make them as even as you can so that they line up as good as they can. And then don't be scared to get your twist on. Let's go ahead and pinch the wires together. Hope you guys can see, I'm just laying this wire diagonally right in front of this wire. I'm getting really into it, and just pinching them together, and just giving it a twist. And I'm wrapping 
the wire of the new item, which I'm putting on, which is this wire, around the old existing wires. So I put black on. Now I'm going to put white on. Same way. Just line it right up. Find the grooves. Hold it together with the pliers. Just give it a nice little twist. Perfect. Perfect. You see those connecting? This red one actually has a little cap on there. Save that one for last. I'm going to pop this little cap off. It's easy to come off. Line that up. Ooh, look, my white wire came back off. I didn't tight it. I didn't put it tight enough. Go ahead. Pop it back on. It's very easy. Just tighten it up just a little bit more. Squeeze it together. Just give it another turn. Make sure it lines up in there. And it's not going to come off anymore. But cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this red wire on there. Look, some of these wires have been painted before. Hopefully this doesn't affect or compromise the buoyancy of it. But we're going to go put it back together anyway. Let's put that right there. Twist that one on. Look at that. Give it a nice squeeze. They're all in there pretty tight now, guys. So once they're on pretty tight, as I said before, you're going to go back and you're going to grab your little caps that you started with. So these caps are clutch right here. These are going to actually cover these wires. So you can just shove it in there nice and tight. Make sure it is going to stay. Give it a couple good twists. Uh, and get that cap right back on there. Perfect, perfect. Cap's not going anywhere. So I have two red ones and I have a yellow one here. I'll pop on this um, yellow one next. You put that on there. Just give it a nice twist. Push it in there. You can pinch it down if you want to. Now, here goes this red one. So I'm going to pop that on there. Here we go. Give it a nice twist. Give it a nice pinch. And we're good to go. Now here comes the easy part, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this new bracket back on. I want to make sure that it fits. Here's, here is the way that it actually fits in the smoke detector, how it's going to sit on the wall. That's the way I'm going to put it back on. Go ahead and take it back apart. Make sure you get these cords and everything inside. Go ahead and start shoving it back in there too. And then you can use, ooh, my Ray-Bans are coming off. I'm too close to the ceiling, I flow too close to the sun. But you go ahead and you use the old existing screws and you pop them on. Go ahead and pop, use your screwdriver, put that back together, tighten it up. Look at that. Go sit in there nice and even. You want to make sure it doesn't fall off the wall. Go ahead and put other screw, tighten that up. Everything's nice and tight. Make sure everything's sturdy. And when it's on there, you're just going to go ahead and shove these wires and brackets back into the mounting bracket right there. Shove it back under there. Good. We're good to go now. Look at that. Look at that. Everything's good. On the back of it, you're going to find the plug. This plug plugs right into there. There are three prongs. You want to make sure since they're staggered, they line up exactly with this. There are two holes on the side that are right here. They're going to clamp in. When you want to release, you push it. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and line that up. Three, two, one. All's in. All's good to go. You can see that small detector will hang on its own. You don't want to put too much pressure on that, though. Let's go ahead and mount it. Wow. Look how easy that was. Smoke detector installation complete. Finally, you're going to want to hand and pull this tab and make sure that works. You saw that red flash? Listen. It works. When I go ahead and I cut the power back onto this property, I have another two smoke detectors to do that I'll cut them all on. But when I cut the power back on, right now you're seeing it glow red because it's on battery backup. Right next to it, if you read it, it says green AC power. This little light will turn green because everything is hooked up and AC controlled. At that point, it'll be run from the house. And if power ever goes, then it'll go to the battery backup. If you guys have any questions, you have any concerns, you want to make sure that you find out anything about their smoke detector laws in your county and who best to go to to get them upgraded, make sure you give me a call, 240-472-7453. If you guys want to buy a house that's been upgraded with smoke detectors, reach out to me today, Calvin Storage Store Real Estate. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.